Being a human, you are completely unique. One of around 8 billion unique individuals, actually. While that shared uniqueness might make you feel a little less special, there are some people out there who are so unique, their existence is almost hard to believe. And indeed a handful who seem to defy explanation altogether. For those with the least common conditions to those who've intentionally made themselves stand out from the crowd, stay tuned as we check out people who are truly one in a million, and some even rarer than that. No nail, no problem. Not only are nails great, butt scratchers and nose pickers, but our talons actually evolved 55 million years ago to benefit our grip and fine motor skills. And while for most of us nails are a given, some people are born with a rare condition that renders them completely nailless. Known as a non -achaea, it can affect fingers, toes, or both. And while some are left completely void of any nail, others might have fragments of nail in a variation known as hyponychia. Researchers have found the condition to be a mutation in the RSPO4 gene, which is vital in nail formation. Fortunately, this rare condition, which has only ever been reported in less than 20 people, doesn't usually have many other associated health implications but it's not the only relatively harmless condition resulting in a remarkably unusual bodily appearance. Get a load of this. Yep, this isn't some gruesome Photoshop, but a real condition. Known as fimbriated folds of the tongue, these are essentially excess pieces of skin which run along the frenulum, also known as the tissue that connects the tongue to the bottom of the mouth. These horn-like growths result from residual tissue not being completely reabsorbed by the body during the development and growth of the tongue while in the womb. And as mildly demonic as these things might look, they're actually harmless. That is, unless the tongue hops out of the person's mouth and scuttles away on its fleshy legs. And that's about the most cursed thing you'll see today. You're welcome. Impossible Aging Meet UK woman Zara Hartshorn. Both she and her mom Tracy suffer from a rare condition which has left them looking decades older than they really are. Just looking at Zara in this image, how old would you guess she is? Well, while she might look middle-aged, she was actually only 16 here. Her condition had aged her way before her time and affected her life continuously. As a young teenager, she was constantly denied kids' tickets prices to the cinema as workers doubted her age, and sadly, bullies labeled her as granny at school. The condition, known as cutis laxa, is caused by mutations in various genes, but primarily in the ELN gene. This gene is responsible for making a protein called tropoelastin, multiple instances of which form together into a mature protein called elastin. This is a major component of the connective tissue that supports the body's joints and organs. Without proper function of the ELN gene, not only will the skin sag and age beyond its years, but it also affects the positioning and health of the teeth and the body's organs, such as the lungs, arteries, and even heart can be seriously impacted, potentially even failing altogether. Fortunately though, cutis laxa is extremely rare with its prevalence at birth estimated at around one in a million. Sadly, there is no known cure for cutis laxa. Plastic surgery can improve one's appearance, but will not alter the internal effects of the condition. In fact, in 2013, the then 16-year-old Zara Hartshorn traveled to the US to undergo a facelift. The procedure was successful. However, by 2017, it was reported that Zara's facelift had begun to droop. But even with her life-threatening condition, Zara reportedly has no intentions of living life in the slow lane instead using her circumstances as an inspiration to raise awareness of the rare disease and hopefully bring some comfort to anyone else who finds themselves experiencing it. Now imagine the complete opposite of cutis laxa, that is where a person looks much younger than they actually are. Well, such a condition exists and it's known as Highlander syndrome. And in some cases it has left fully grown adults looking like infants. Take for example, Shin Hyo Myung from Korea. He might look like your average 10-year-old, but astoundingly, he's actually 34. While his round, youthful face and high-pitched voice could fit in at any elementary school, you can actually find Shen living the life of a normal young man. He reportedly even loves to spend his weekends in the club drinking and grooving. 
Interestingly, researchers haven't yet found a definitive cause for Highlander syndrome. One theory is that it's a result of a discrepancy in telomeres, which are structures present in the chromosomes that carry our body's genetic information. Telomeres control aspects of bodily cell division and a chunk of telomere is lost with each cell division. This loss is normal and contributes to gradual natural aging. However, it's theorized that Highlander syndrome sees the overactivation of the telomerase enzyme, which is responsible for restoring part of the telomere that has been lost in cell division, the overactivation of which counteracts the aging process. Some folks view this rare disease as a potential source of the secret to reverse aging for regular people. But for people like Shen, it seems to be more of a nuisance. After all, given his love of partying, he's been pretty vocal about how frustrating the process is of convincing bouncers he was really born in 1989. Jamie Keaton, Man of Glue We'd all love a superpower, be it the power of flight, invisibility, or maybe even super strength. Well, one US man actually does have a real-life superpower, though it's probably not one you've ever fantasized about having. He can stick objects to his head. It all started at around age seven when Jamie Keaton noticed something rather strange about his skin. It stuck to things. It wasn't until he shaved his head for the first time, though, that he realized how sticky he really was. At a baseball game, in Jamie's own words, I was trying to cool my head down. I dried it off first, grabbed a can of pop, and just started cooling my head down. As I was doing that, the other team hit a home run and I went up to grab the ball and missed, and then I was like, where's my drink? It was stuck to the back of my head. <laughs> what a sight that must have been for the opposing team. Jamie eventually found out that he had an astoundingly rare skin condition that caused his skin to have suction-like ability. So rare, in fact, that the condition doesn't even have a technical name yet. Now, hearing that his skin has suction ability, your mind might be conjuring up trypophobia laden images whereby Jamie's huge pores suck like a vacuum. But the reality is, thank goodness, a little less unnerving. You see, it's normal for your skin to absorb a small amount of oxygen in order to sustain the top layer of skin. However, in Jamie's case, his skin absorbs 23% more than the average person's which seemingly makes it possible for him to do all types of things, like stick cans of beer to himself. Medical professionals have noted it's also possible Jamie may have some kind of mutation in his body's sweat production system, resulting in a more adhesive kind of perspiration. While there's little certainty about the exact cause of his condition with such a rare skill, Jamie has certainly capitalized on it, having appeared on countless talk shows and adverts, and even bagging himself a Guinness World Record for, quote, the most drink cans placed on a head using air suction. Now that's a legacy to be proud of. Even Stranger Things All right, calling all Stranger Things fans, if you've ever seen the popular Netflix series, you'll know that the character Dustin, played by Gatton Matarazzo, has a condition affecting the development of his teeth and resulting in him not having a collarbone. But in case you haven't seen or just need reminding, let me show you the scene. It's called clitocranial dysplasia and it affects one in a million people. This rare condition can also affect height and overall appearance and what causes it are mutations in the RUNX2 gene. This gene is vital in the formation of osteoblasts or to you and I, the cells that create bone in the developing body. As we saw with Dustin, one of the most common deformities seen in clitocranial dysplasia is the absence of a collarbone, which can look pretty intriguing, to say the least. And one guy who has certainly cashed in on his shoulder-folding superpower is TikToker Corey Bennett. Check him out. I mean, that's gotta be a world record for most soda cans crushed by someone's shoulders, right? The only question I have is, what exactly happens when he lays on his side? Does his body fold in half? Corey, if you're watching, we need answers and video evidence. An eye for an eye. Ah, the eyes, the window to the soul. Our eyes are one of the most defining features of our face, so you can imagine losing one might be pretty disconcerting. However, when one man lost his right eye, he decided to, shall we say, look on the bright side of life. 
When a nasty battle with cancer left Californian engineer Brian Stanley with one less eye, Brian said, hold my beer. Certainly making lemonade from the lemons life at Delta, Brian decided to put his engineering skills to good use and embraced his newfound disability by creating a modified prosthetic eye with flashlight functionality. And since then, he's not only amassed a whole wardrobe of different custom prosthetic eyes, but a TikTok audience of over 10 million. With what he calls cyborg eyes, Brian is able to express himself in a uniquely stylish way. With all colors of the rainbow plus intricate designs such as his Jack Skellington one, Brian has an eyeball for all occasions. Not only that, but it turns out having a bionic eye comes with pretty good benefits. Namely, reading in the dark and generally navigating dim areas. Plus, the opportunity to freak people out is invaluable. To paraphrase Maya Angelou, if you can't change something, you must change your attitude. And Brian is a perfect example of this truly making him one in a million, and really, more like one in eight billion. Tears of Stone. Why do we cry? Well, it's a question that comes with many answers. From mean YouTube comments to The Last of Us binges. As far as science is concerned, however, research suggests that while the reason our eyes wet themselves under emotional distress is currently unknown, doing so does seem to trigger the release of endorphins and oxytocin, which can make us feel better. However, one little girl became pretty unsoothed when she realized she wasn't crying tears, but something much stranger. It was 2014 and Yemen-based father of 20, Mohammed Salah al-Jaharani, noticed his at-the-time eight-year-old daughter Sadia was crying what could only be likened to stones. While the tear stones were painless, Mohammed was still concerned and took Sadia to the hospital, only to find that the doctors had never encountered such a condition. In fact, even multiple x-rays would come to no avail and to this day, Sadia's tears of stone remain a cold case and no official medical conclusion has been publicly revealed since. Though if you ask the locals, the answer is obvious. Black magic, no less. Though Sadja might not be the only one. In 2021, a 15-year-old girl from Uttar Pradesh, India, exhibited a similar condition to Sadja. That was over the span of two months, she wept 10 to 15 stones, but only from her left eye. With local doctors claiming her affliction was not medically possible, an explanation for this bizarre phenomenon continues to elude us. So are we witnessing the discovery of a new medical condition, perhaps due to malfunctioning tear ducts getting the salt ratios and salty tears way off the usual recipe? Is this simple fakery? Or is it truly just a case of bad juju? Speaking of bad juju, you heard this story about the little boy who didn't like and subscribe to be amazed, right? Well, let's just say it wasn't a happy ending. Yeah, I'd like, subscribe, and hit that bell icon for safe measure if I were you. Thumbs all the way up. While we primates first developed opposable thumbs as an adaptation to living in the trees and grasping branches, these days we find them much more attuned for texting. <laughs> Unless you're like my mom and go index finger style. Point is, opposable thumbs are very useful and relatively rare in the animal kingdom. And one TikToker, Jacob Pena, has amassed a 2.6 million following for having thumbs that are way rarer than usual. Not only is his thumb abnormally large, measuring around five inches long, but he claims it's retractable too. Take a look for yourself. Now, while the thumb may not be retractable in the same way as a cat's claw, what's really going on is that Jacob can actually temporarily dislocate his thumb at the base of the bone to give it its extended appearance. Coupled with the fact that his fingers are naturally very long, it's a super weird sight. Though his doctor has reportedly assured him that the activity is mostly safe and the ability doesn't appear linked to any known medical conditions. Either way, Jacob should definitely start renting out his thumb services as the ultimate way for people to show approval. Thumbs up. Way up. Seeing is believing. You might look at me and admire my big eyes, but these, I'm afraid, are but a figment of digital artwork. However, if you really want to see some impressively bulbous balls, then set your specs on Kim Goodman. 
Yep, Chicago native Kim is known for holding the record for farthest eyeball protrusion, as she can make her peepers stick out an eye-watering 0.47 inches beyond her sockets. While it's a certainly fun party trick, not to mention claim to fame, Kim's bulging bulbs are actually a result of an injury. The proper medical term for Kim's condition is globe luxation and occurs after a head or eye-related trauma. Its prevalence is extremely rare, having only been reported 109 times. But don't be fooled, globe luxation isn't just a fun eye-bulging trick. It can actually result in fully ruptured eyeballs if something goes wrong. Word of advice, don't Google image search ruptured eyeballs, whatever you do for the love of God. Back to Kim Goodman though, she initially discovered her ability when she accidentally struck her eye and it popped partially out, forcing her to pop it back into place. After that, thankfully, her eyes were left perfectly intact and she gradually learned to pop them out on cue like something from Looney Tunes. Ever since, she's been freaking people out with her bulging blinkers, even appearing on The David Letterman Show in various TV commercials. And whenever Kim shows up on screens, it's certainly not just the audience that's left wide-eyed. Foreign Accent Syndrome We all have a unique accent. In fact, I'm actually from England. And oh, I've been putting on a fake American accent all this time to appease you Yankee Doodle Dandies. <coughs> Uh, anyway, while accents tend to indicate a person's environment or social class, there's actually a syndrome whereby individuals can unwillingly develop unusual accents, often from places they've never even been. They call it foreign accent syndrome. Since first being documented in 1907, only around 100 people have been reported with the syndrome. But what exactly causes it to happen? Well, it's believed mostly to occur when the bronchus area of the brain, also known as the part responsible for motor speech, is damaged and triggers can be severe migraines, strokes, seizures, and surgery to the mouth or face. Take, for example, Angie Yen. Raised in Australia, we can only imagine that Angie had your classic, good eye, mate, put another shrimp on the bobby kind of accent, right? However, in 2021, Angie had her tonsils removed. And while the surgery seemed a success, just 10 days later, she woke up and suddenly began speaking in an Irish accent. Take a listen. I can't shake it. I just did a job interview in an Irish accent when I've never been to Ireland. Can your friends tell me that my accent is from a cool part of Ireland or not? Um, it's totally not normal and I'm on my way to the hospital. Steward is coming soon um, and I'll keep you posted. Send help. Um, Joe Day, Dr. Carl mentioned that I may, might need to go to acting school to learn how to speak Aussie again, uh, and that's very expensive. Fascinating, huh? Interestingly, no two FAS sufferers necessarily have the same accent. One woman from the UK, Sarah Colwilt, was told her accent sounded Chinese. Hello, this is my first TikTok. Um, many people ask for update on my condition how i am now um as you can hear today um my speech is disturbed because i had many migraine um the last three days with non-epileptic seizure um but pretty much now i sound english and um, back to my normal accent it is normally only disturbed um like sounding like this and i struggle to find words um, when I've had a particularly bad spit of migraine. However, people with FAS aren't actually speaking with a genuine foreign accent, as I'm sure any Irish or Chinese person will tell you after hearing these ladies speak. As speech science expert Dr. Nick Miller explains, the affected person actually develops a speech disorder that affects the rhythm of their speech and their ability to produce certain sounds, which can inadvertently result in sounding like an accent. For example, it might make it so they can no longer pronounce W's and instead pronounce them as V's. Before you know it, they're saying things like, I'm waiting for my Veta, and leading people to believe they have a German accent. Thankfully, the disorder can often be rectified with speech therapy, but now knowing this disorder exists, would it be wrong to try speaking in a different few accents of my own? If no one's convinced, now just say my foreign accent syndrome is on the fritz. Alien Man 
The desire to fit in among our peers is a natural part of the human condition and most likely rooted in evolutionary survival. From the clothes we wear to social etiquette, many people strive for normality. However, one man who is in no rush to be quote unquote normal is Frenchman Anthony Lofredo. But don't be fooled as what you've just seen was Anthony back in 2013, before he started what he calls the Black Alien Project. Since then, Anthony has and is continuing to undergo extreme body modification in a bid to make him look like an alien. So far, such modifications have seen him tattoo virtually every inch of his body, including his eyeballs. He's even willingly removed parts of his body. Yep, you heard that right. He said of voir to his upper lip, nose, ears, and even two digits from his left hand, not to mention forking his tongue. For extra measure, he's even stuffed his skin with countless implants, giving him a lumpy, bumpy texture. And as you can see, the results are pretty, um, well, interesting. He really is the kind of alien you'd like to introduce to your parents. Not surprisingly, his mutant mods have made him somewhat a pariah, what with Anthony complaining of not being able to find work due to people's negativity. Even so, that doesn't stop him as the modifications are far from being over. In fact, so far, according to Anthony, the Black Alien Project is only 46% complete. So what does the future hold for our extraterrestrial friend? Well, for one thing, he's hinted at potentially losing a leg alongside other removals and modifications that are a little too hardcore to mention on YouTube. <laughs> anyway, while he might identify as alien, for now he is stuck among us here, mere mortal earthlings, and one thing's for sure, he's certainly one of a kind. The Ulas Family it's believed that we humans first evolved to walk up right around three to six million years ago, which not only freed our hands for carrying food, tools, and babies, but allowed us to appear bigger and more intimidating. However, mysteriously, one family seemingly hasn't evolved to stand upright, but instead walk on all fours. In a remote part of southern Turkey lived the Ulas family. Mom and dad, Hatije and Rajit Ulas, walk completely ordinarily. Yet five out of their 19 children have inherited this condition, which hitherto hasn't been known to exist in humans. Turkish scientists initially dubbed this condition as, quote, backwards evolution, likening the family to our great ape cousins. However, unlike the gorilla, for example, which walks on its clenched fists, the Ulus clan walk on the heel of their palm, causing them to develop tough calluses. Contrary to what was initially believed, further study has revealed it's not that the palm-walking Ulises are less evolved, but rather a result of genetic and developmental circumstances. The siblings all suffer from a congenital brain impairment, cerebellar ataxia, which makes it difficult for them to balance on two legs. Experts believe it would have been possible to combat this as infants with physiotherapy, but due to the lack of medical services available in their local area, that was never an option. It's not, in fact, physically impossible for them to walk upright. In recent years, with physiotherapy and support, they've been training to stand upright. So while their walking habits are truly one of a kind, it's nice to know the Ula siblings now have the option to give their hands a much needed rest. Adalia Rose. With 3 million YouTube subscribers, Miss Adalia Rose was a truly rare individual in more ways than one. She was born with a genetic disorder called Hutchison Guilford Progeria, often referred to as Progeria for short. Due to Adalia's condition, she unfortunately passed away in 2022 at just 15 years old. But to honor her impressive contributions to the internet, it seems fitting for us to talk about the condition this unique star lived with. Looking at Adalia and others with progeria, you'll notice that there are physical deformities. This is because progeria is a result of a mutation in the Lehman A gene. This gene helps provide stability and strength to cells. With progeria, the body makes an abnormal form of Lehman A called progerin, which results in less stable cells and makes cell division difficult. The physicality of this manifests itself in the form of a large bald head, a thin nose, and a small jaw, among other body deformities, including the appearance of rapid aging. Fortunately, though, it doesn't affect a person's brain development or intelligence. So really, people like Adelia are just the same as you and I. 
The sad news is that due to associated cardiovascular problems that develop with age, progeria is a deadly disease with patients rarely making it to their 20s. And tragically, Adelia succumbed to her disease at 15, but not before leaving a huge impact on the world. She raised the public's awareness that despite progeria's drastic effects on the human appearance, the finest traits of the human spirit can easily be found burning stronger within than in most of us. And with her spirit and the awareness she raised around this one in eight million disease, Adelia will be remembered as a truly and uniquely special person. So that brings us to the end of today's video. Who's the most uniquely amazing person you've ever met? Be sure to let me know down in the comments and I'll catch you in the next one. This is Be Amazed, over and out.